Okay, question number eight, part A. A curve has parametric equations x equals x t, x equals t squared minus t, y equals 40 times 1 minus t, and t can't be 1, otherwise this would be undefined. Find dy dx in terms of t. So it's a parametric equation. So when we want to find dy dx, okay, it makes life a lot simpler if we do dy dt times dt dx, like using the chain. So uh, we got to find dy dt and dx dt and invert dx dt. Now dx dt is pretty simple. It's going to be 2t minus 1. So that will be inverted. So that will become 1 over 2t minus 1. But we've got to find dy dt. Now the way it's written now, it's not so easy to find. Okay, to differentiate this. You could use uh, the quotient rule here, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, you could use a quotient rule. That's probably one way, probably the easiest way of doing it. U and V. So when you're using the quotient rule, remember it's going to be um, V times U dash minus U times V dash over V squared. So our U is 4T and our V is 1 minus T. So U dash is 4 and V dash is minus 1. So V times U dash, which is these two multiplied, which is four times. So we can say dy dt is equal to these two multiplied, which is four times one minus T minus these two multiplied, which is going to be plus four T over V squared, which is uh, one minus T all squared. So let's simplify that. That's four minus 4t plus 4t over 1 minus t all squared so that gives us 4 over 1 minus t all squared okay so that's the differential of okay this expression okay so now we are ready to find dy dx so dy dx will therefore be oops, dy dx is going to now be dy dt which is 4 over 1 minus t squared times dt dx okay which is the reciprocal of this so it's 1 over 2t minus 1 so we can say dy dx the gradient function of this is equal to 4 over um, this is in brackets by the way, sorry. Uh, 1 minus t bracket squared times 2t minus 1. Okay, so that's part A completed. Now part B, it tells us to find the equation for the tangent to the curve at the point P where t equals minus 1, giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are integers. Okay, so to find the equation of a tangent, a tangent is a straight line. Okay, a straight line, to find the equation of the straight line, we need two things. We need, one of the things we need is a point on the line, which is the point P, for which we need its coordinates, which uh, we don't have them directly, but we know that at P, T equals minus one, so we can find its coordinates. And two, the second thing we need is the gradient of the line, okay, the gradient of that tangent, which again, because we have found the gradient function over here and we know that at p, t equals minus one, we can find it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I know that um, the x coordinate is going to be when you find, when you substitute t equals minus one into this expression here, this equation. So t, so you've got minus one squared, minus, minus one. Be very careful with your signs. So that means x is equal to, that's gonna be one plus one, which is two. So the x coordinate of p is two. And we know y is equal to 4 times minus 1 over 1 minus minus 1. So it's minus 4 over 1 plus 1, which is 2. So we know that y is equal to 2. Okay, uh, sorry, y is equal to minus 2. Minus 4 over 2 is a negative 2. Sorry, be very careful. Don't be in a rush. So minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. So 2 minus 2 are the coordinates of the point P. And we've got to find the gradient. Now the gradient can be found using this. So I can, let me just write here. So the gradient 
is equal to 4 over, and you have 1 minus minus 1, all squared, times 2 times minus 1, minus 1. So let's see what that gives us. Just being a bit careful here. So m equals, you've got 4 divided by, and this is 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 squared, which is 4, times minus 2 minus 3, which is minus minus 2 minus 1, which is minus 3. So you end up with 4 divided by minus 12. That's 4 over negative 12. So the gradient of the tangent that we need is equal to minus 1 third. So the gradient is equal to minus 1 third. So now we can use our equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We know what y1 is, it's minus 2. So you have y minus minus 2, which is y plus 2, equals m, which is minus 1 third, times x minus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 3, because I want all integers, get rid of that. So 3y plus 6 equals, and I'll multiply this by this minus 1. So you've got minus x plus 2. So now I'll, I want to x, um, it's always best to keep the x term as a positive when you write in this form, because we want it in the form here, um, ax plus by plus c equals 0, so everything on one side. So let's add x to both sides, so you have x plus 3y, and then you're going to have 6 minus 2, which is 4, um, 6 minus 2, which is plus 4, 6 minus 2 plus 4 equals 0, and there we have the equation of the line. Uh, which is a tangent to the curve at the point P. Okay, so that's part B of the question. Now let's move on to part C. Okay, it says the tangent to the curve at P cuts the curve at the point Q again. So the tangent to the curve, it was X plus 3Y plus 4 equals 0. That's the tangent at the point P. Let's just make sure, in case I, I wrote it wrong. So you have x plus 3y plus 4. Yes, x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0 is the equation of the tangent to the curve. Okay, so it says it cuts the curve at the point Q. Use algebra to find the coordinates of Q. So basically, what we're going to do is, we know that if I solve these two, if I solve this equation and this equation simultaneously, Okay, I'll find where they intersect. Okay, so how do I solve a parametric equation with equation which is a normal Cartesian equation parametrically? Well, very simple. I just replace the x with t squared minus t, and I, I replace the y with 4t over 1 minus t. And I'll have an equation with just t in it. I can find the value of t, and then I can find the coordinates of the points. So I'm going to replace the x with t squared minus t, and I'm going to replace the y with 4t over 1 minus t. And then I've got the plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so let's see what happens when we deal with this. We're going to have plus 12t over 1 minus t plus 4 equals 0. Okay, okay so now we can try to... Um, simplify this and solve so what we have here is let me just uh, keep this on one side so let me put 12 t over 1 minus t equals so i've got to do minus t squared plus t minus 4 so i'll have cross multiplication to get rid of this fraction multiply both sides by 1 minus t so i'll have 1 minus t times this, which is minus t squared plus t minus 4. You've got to be really careful about your signs here. Easy to make mistakes. So 12t equals, that's 1 times, so 1 times all of this will give you the same thing, minus t squared plus t and minus 4. Then you have minus t times minus t squared, which is plus t cubed. Minus t times plus t, which is minus t squared and minus t times minus 40, which is plus 4t. Now, let's simplify this. So you're going to have, um, you got, I'm going to keep everything on this side, but I'll write it here. So t cubed 
Then I've got minus t squared minus t squared, which is minus 2t squared. Then I've got my t terms. I've got, um, I've got t plus 4t, which is 5t. And then I've got to take away the 12t, which is minus 7t. Okay. And it's like I've left zero on this side, basically. Um, minus 7t. Um, so I've dealt with the t terms. And now I've got left is the minus 4. Is it just minus 4? Yes, yeah, just minus 4. So basically, we've got the equation t cubed minus 2t squared minus 7t minus 4 equals 0. So this, the solution to this equation or the solutions to this equation will tell us the t value where the line hits the curve. Now, what we can realize from the previous part of the question is the fact that when t equals minus 1, there's a tangent to the curve. Okay, that means t equals minus 1 is a solution. So t plus 1, okay, so as, so let me write it properly here. So as at t equals minus 1, okay, um, there is a tangent to the curve. Okay, this, this not, this, there it is. The line that gave us this equation, which was um, x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0. x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0 is a tangent. Okay, and this is what gave us this equation. Therefore, t plus 1 must be a factor must be a factor okay t plus one must be a factor okay in fact in fact because um, it's a repeated root okay it's a tangent it's a repeated root so it kind of say the curve goes like this is a repeated root then t plus one squared must be a factor in fact okay so t plus one must be a repeated factor so we could use that to help us find what this should be so we can actually write this as um, we can say what was missing is a times t plus b that's what we're looking for and this can be written as t squared plus 2t plus 1 and you know when you multiply that you get this which is t cubed minus 2t squared minus 7t minus 4. So we can just do some comparison of the coefficients. Okay, so a t times t squared gives us 1 t cubed, so a must be 1. And if we look at b times 1, it's going to give us minus 4. The only constant we're going to get is when you do b times 1. So we know that b must be equal to minus 4. So therefore, we got t minus 4 is a factor okay so if t minus 4 is a factor therefore t equals 4 is where we're going to get one of the solutions and I'm going to continue over here let me just bring that stuff up. I'm going to continue down here although I'm supposed to turn over no problem so I can work out the coordinates of the point which was a question it says find the coordinates of q which is where the other place where the this line will hit the curve okay so that's when t equals 4 so the x coordinate at q so we can say at q t equals 4 okay so x equals 4 squared minus 4 which is 16 minus 4 which is 12 and y equals 4 times 4 over 1 minus 4 which is 16 over negative 3 so the coordinates of Q are going to be 12 and negative 16 over 3. And there we have the answer to that question.